But you know what? When you and I take up this call and we talk about abortion, if we speak about it in church, we're told we're too political. If we speak about it in the political arena, we're told we're too religious. If we speak about it in the world of the media, it's too disturbing. In the world of business, it's too distracting. In the world of education, it's too controversial. In the streets, it's too disruptive. So abortion, if abortion is wrong, where do we go to say so? We go into the churches, we go into politics, into the media, into business, into education, and into the streets. Some churches, some churches haven't wanted, got, wanted to get involved in political hassles with the government. And so they've been silent on abortion. They didn't want to get involved in hassles from the government. They didn't want to take the fight to the government. So now with the HHS mandate, the government took the fight to them. And when it comes to that mandate, we've got a simple message for this administration. We will obey God rather than men. As Alveda can tell us, her uncle said one day to the civil rights movement, we've got a lot of obstacles in our way, but we're not going to let anything turn us around. We're not going to let no dogs turn us around, no water hoses turn us around, no police clubs or jail sentences, and we're not going to let any injunctions turn us around. And so today I say to you, in the pro-life movement, no Planned Parenthood is going to turn us around. No biased media is going to turn us around. No HHS mandate is going to turn us around. No Obama administration is going to turn us around. And we must do this in unity.